This is City TV. We're going over to the main now to hang out with Winston C. Give Winston a hand. <laughs> They're very excited about the rapid roller. We have a lot to live up to now. We want to talk a little bit about backing up the information on your phone. So we all know that we're supposed to do it, mm -hmm. but I need you to explain what it is. I just keep hearing back up the info, back up the info, but what does that mean and then and, and how do we do it? Like we have with photos, backing up is a way to maybe make copies of your precious photos. So your photos, your videos, even your income taxes. So all there right. are so many precious memories and, and important files that we have. It's really important to have multiple copies of it in case our computer fails because technology isn't fail proof. Okay, so you see all the pictures we're going to be taking after the show together? You want to keep that, right? So we're going to show you how to back it all up. So what are we backing it up onto? We, you, there are multiple ways. You can actually back it up onto a hard drive. This is actually a hard drive from uh, Verbatim, and it's a wonderful little hard drive. You can see it's it's smaller than my hand. Yeah. And it, it, this is actually 320 gigabytes. You can have up to 500 gigabytes of this little tiny hard drive, and you can put copies on it. Um, you can also use services online uh, like a service called carbonite.com okay. which actually uh, is a great way I actually have a little screen here and carbonite is actually a great website where your photos will be trickled up to the internet so you're not completely wasting all of your bandwidth which is your oh. internet speed Okay. So you can actually do other things at once. Now, if you're backing it up onto the internet, it doesn't mean that everyone has access to exactly. it, right? Exactly. It's will, just for you. You will get a secure uh, username, yeah. a secure password, yeah. and from there, you can, uh, whenever you need the information, if your computer crashes or even if you're out of town and uh, you, you want to share a photo with your loved one, you can mm -hmm. log into their website and securely, of course, and you can actually download the photo. That is so brilliant. Okay, and that way you're not wasting all that space on your own hard drive. Let's talk a little bit about some do's and don'ts when it comes to backing up. Yep, yeah, like I said, uh, never only keep one copy of your backup files, and this leads okay. me to my do, which is which which is uh, actually the three O rule. Uh, the first one is on site, mm -hmm. uh, meaning uh, if you, if I, here at the uh, studio, if I want to back something up, I can back a copy up on my hard drive or even on an external hard drive, and you can actually keep it on site. Off-site means uh, if, if, say, there was an earthquake or, or even a storm and something happened to your office, you yeah. can actually keep a copy at home. Right. so that you can go home and have a copy there. And yeah. the other one is actually online, and I mentioned that with the website Carbonite.com. Okay, so if we don't want to use the uh, the online version, where else are we backing up this material to? And well, how are we doing it? The big thing that a lot of people have are these smartphones, and this is yeah. a Blackberry, there's also an iPhone here, and these are two uh, major phones that we have uh, these days. Uh -huh. And uh, we have many photos on it, and it's, it's a big deal. Absolutely. And there are actually two really simple ways to uh, back up your BlackBerry for example and I have one here it's actually using your software called the BlackBerry desktop software and most of us with our Blackberries have these discs that come in the box yes. you can actually load it on your computer and many people don't know there's actually a backup uh, option on here so if you get the so cord don't, don't throw out those discs. don't throw out the box and the disc I did. keep the disc you plug it in and there's actually a whole backup option on the screen okay. and you actually click on it which is right here and all of your contacts, your emails, your photos, your videos, all of that information is backed up. So if you lose your BlackBerry, <sighs> anything happens to it, yeah. it's on your computer. And when your company replaces your BlackBerry, you buy a new one, yeah. you can load everything back up, and it's the way you left it. Okay, so what if we threw out that disk? You can download it. Go to. Uh, you can download it. Yeah, we'll put a link on our uh, website, cityline.ca. Yeah. It's actually blackberry.com. And you can actually download the software for your particular BlackBerry. Uh, and same goes for the iPhone. You can yep. do that in iTunes as well. Very cool. So are there any other places we need to know about backing up? Um, I, I'll include all of the links on uh, yeah. my blog, The Digital yes. Life, on uh, cityline.ca. Another great app, uh, really quickly, is one called Dropbox. Okay. And Dropbox is a great way to actually upload your files. So if you actually, you can actually add files, and um, I'll pull up uh, City Line, my la well, one of my previous City Lines. You can actually select photos you want. Mm -hmm. 
and it will upload it to the web. So if, say you lose your iPad, yeah. you can actually go onto this website called dropbox.com and log in with your username and password. This is a free service, by the way. Okay. Free service, and it uploads the photos on the internet. How much time do you spend doing this, like backing up? Because I think a lot of people think, well, I'd love to have my stuff forever, but do I really have to spend the time to go through that extra step? Well, you know what? Backing up doesn't have to be, you know, time consuming. Yeah. It can be as simple as you want it to be. So it depends on how secure you want your files to be. Yeah. Um, you can spend as much time or as little time as you want, and it really can take as little as an hour a week. And I guess if you do it frequently, then you're not mm. stuck with a huge file that, you know, all of 2010, mm. you're trying to back up, which makes it a lot more cumbersome, right? And the great thing about it is a lot of these features are automatic. So if mm. you install uh, 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 the Carbonite software, for example, it will automatically, you can set it once a day, once a week, it will automatically trickle those changes to the internet so you always have a recent copy of your oh, files. Oh, very cool. That's good to know. Thank you for that, Winston. Well, keeping your home phones clean and germ-free is always a challenge, right? Rebecca has a solution. Take a look. Another great hiding place for germs is the telephone. And you're gonna be putting this up to your ear and mouth and that is a great recipe for getting sick. So you wanna make sure this is nice and clean. So what I suggest is that you take antibacterial disinfectant wipes. And most people have those in their homes, especially if they have young children. And these are great because they allow you to actually get right into all the little grooves. You can use your nail and you just wipe through. You might call a few people while you're at it by accident, but that's okay. They'll understand. Cleaning must be done. So you clean this off. And while you're at it, when you're walking around the house, you might want to pick up the remote and give that a little cleaning too, because this gets passed around the house from all the different hands of the people living there. And you just never know how clean their hands are, do you? <laughs> Got to keep that stuff clean. Let's go to break. More coming up on Around the House City Live. Very cool. Love you and Winston and Randy. If you can come in for the very end, thank you for joining us on City Live. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. There you go. I like that. Thanks, man. City TV.